what up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast, man. Voice of Detroit versus the city. You feel me? Got my mans, man. To start the new year off, man. What's I the deal? I need to hustle, man. One half of the Splash Bros. You, you already know. know. Splash, we in the building. Episode 102. It's January 2nd. This is second time on, and it's 2022. <laughs> Whole bunch of tools in this bitch, dog. Straight up. <laughs> second time on the show. Hell yeah, yeah man. Two. But uh, shit, man, you already know how it is, dog. Before we get started, we always start the show off with a uh, salute me while I'm here. You know what I'm saying? It's 2022. A lot of niggas didn't make it to that next year. You feel me? Okay. If it was due to, due to COVID or just some, you know what I'm saying, some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to them. But I want to salute motherfuckers who can still, you know what I'm saying, smell them flowers. But you know, it can't be nobody that's in your immediate circle. It can't be no mom, pops, your siblings, no kids, no no lady. Got to be somebody outside of that. You got you got anybody you want to give a uh, shout out to? Mm. You say outside of family. Mm-hmm. Oh, let can, me see. Hell yeah, cause it's easy to go to you know moms or. I'm a. I want to give a big shout out to my man Cell. Okay. Uh, that's the en- engineer, the man behind For the sure. sound. He, For sure. He been going through it. He had a rough year last year. We all have, but yeah. bro had a real rough one, and he still been able to keep himself together. Okay. So yeah, that's that's exactly what I want to get at too. Hell yeah, hell yeah, nigga. Them dog, it'd be like nigga, them times. That's like my brother, so yeah, cause it'd be like them times, nigga. When you in some shit, you know, be like, dog. When the fuck is, is the motherfucking race gonna be over? God damn, like when you go through some shit, it's like that shit take forever, bro. Facts, fam, and it's and it, and it don't set in and chill with you until you get until you feel like you good. Mm-hmm. It ain't no just waking up. Okay, it's all right, or it'll be a time limit, or let me just give it a couple days. Yeah. Nah, if it ain't right for you, it ain't gonna be right, man. Hell yeah and A lot of times nigga You could fuck yourself up Trying to make sure Everybody else happy And you ain't good Facts That can fuck you up Facts. too dog So that shit crazy man But shit nigga Stay on the year and shit though How was How was your 21 dog Your, your 2021 bro Like It was excellent fam Yeah um, At the end of the At the uh, beginning I brought in I had My second daughter Well Second uh, Through my through my blood Yeah 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 Yep so I had her She was born in February 16th Okay Um Drop two. We did two. Um, that's three projects counting mine this year. Yeah. Um. We uh, opened up a shop in Atlanta for the shoe doctor. Yeah, also, I saw that shit. That was dope. Dope. Um, my best friend got married. That's I was the best man in his wedding. Oh, it was shit. a great experience. Hell yeah. Um. Hold on. No, don't lie, dog. That shit had you thinking about it, like. Oh yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Like I before you that, there. before that, I was already thinking about it. Cause like the girl I'm with, I know it's, it can't. I can't go further than what is that. This is where this is our plan to be at. Yeah. It's just the time frame. You can't when when you ready to marry. You can say you ready, but when until you just like okay, just jumping mm-hmm. out there and then mm-hmm. make sure it's get done. Mm-hmm. That's the only time that you are gonna know you really ready for sure. But for sure. there's no question and doubt that I want to be anywhere else or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. no, so, that's dope too though. Cause niggas don't be niggas when you get to a certain age though. That whole yeah, it's, what's the point? Yeah, yeah. When you and especially if you got somebody that's solid. You feel me? Like and you know that shit. So that's dope, dog. I don't think a lot of times niggas could tell another dude like, dog, that's dope that you got somebody. Cause then I got so many niggas like I like I said, dog. I've been to way more funerals than I've been to weddings, dog. Been way more baby showers than weddings, nigga. I ain't never been, you know what I'm saying? Man. So that that shit wow. But no, so you say uh yeah, so your year you had a lot of shit that you did then. Yes, sir. I had a I had a real productive year. Um we uh we um we performed at at um what is it called again? Um yeah, when you had the like, garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, garden theater yeah, yeah. twice. We performed there twice. We just did uh like three weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a good look for us. Um, yeah. yeah. We've been trying to we've been trying to really get things popping off. Mm-hmm. Last year was a bad year at a certain at its own percent. But like I just told you all the good things that happened out of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still a lot of go, lot going on COVID. Hell we yeah. still haven't found a way to get through that. Man, Everybody's what? still pushing and there's steady new strains coming in. Man, it's like now you you get that shit nigga, you don't even like nigga, now you gotta be scared if you got if you got a motherfucking sneeze, nigga, like Yeah, for sure. Cause Facts. niggas That shit could be It could be it Nigga like You know what I'm saying So I already told people dog, This shit gonna be around For a minute bro I don't think it's leaving No time soon mm-hmm. I, I, I feel the same way it's, it's either like One part of the year that The number's gonna be low And some One part's gonna be high It just depends on how we You know what I'm saying Be outside and shit I don't think it'll never Be like low Because <laughs> in real reality You have no time You have no way To pinpoint that And then second Everybody's going in And out of Out of the city Sure. Out of town, overseas, yeah. we still doing that. We still, and even we still we not, active, it's yeah. people that's 
in in authority and, and working in offices that actually is still doing yeah, that. even sure. at hospitals yeah. people still take their doctors they still take their trips they still yeah. some of the doctors aren't from the u.s yeah. they still take their trips back over there yeah. and shit they got it now so shit nigga you ain't even gotta sit at the crib that long they want you they damn near want your ass to come to back to work nigga with that shit though like fuck it come back nigga put, put another mask on you know Man, what i'm saying i heard <laughs> i heard that's that's see that's the crazy thing about it um in that in that perspective of that why would you want somebody to come to work if they have COVID? Hell yeah, for sure. That's the that's the whole object of keeping everybody away. If you have one person just come up there with COVID, yeah. Hell yeah. second your factory is ran by twelve to fifteen people, <laughs> you infect one. That's two. Hell yeah. That third person, I mean that second person, talks to the third person. Hell yeah, for so sure. So you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you know how like in certain jobs people got work wives and all that mess, Hell yeah. retarded stuff. So yeah, a dog. lot of things. It's it's. But I really. I, I have my times that I doubt the COVID until it reached somebody close to me. Yeah, that's me back then. This shit really. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. and it, it hit my sister's side, and I had to wit had to witness her family going through her husband, yeah. my two nephews. Yeah. So it was like, um, when it came down to that, I kind of like tightened up. Like, oh, okay, this yeah, is more sure. serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I've been it been going on for two years, and I've <laughs> never had a scare. Yeah. Well, three years now. Yeah. Been going on for that long. I never had a scare until just past recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I was just telling you about that yeah, from a couple sure. of weeks ago. Like, but. Man, yeah, that shit ain't no joke, dog. Once you had shit, nigga, you. I swear to God, nigga. I, I, I swear to God, no lie, dog. When that shit first happened, I thought, nigga, whenever I get that shit, like, that's it, nigga. Like, that's, like, that's it's it. death, nigga. Like, it's over. That's cause they, that's what they type that type that's the the outlook they give you and I have asthma yeah so that's what they tell you it automatically tr triggers your respiratory yeah yeah for sure yeah, all yeah. That. So, so you gotta be for real yeah facts yeah, and yeah. I and, and winter time is the time was my asthma yeah is it I yeah, can yeah. be at home in the bed say for instance forty some degrees yeah and then it dropped down to thirty yeah, in so like yeah. 20, 20 minutes yeah, my yeah. body immediately Feel that feels shit. it yeah. like I can be in the house warm. Mm -hmm. But as soon as it's like the outside, it mm -hmm. drop. I have an instant breathing problem. Yeah, it damn. wake me out of my sleep. Mm -hmm. It will like if I, I would just be cool, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, <gasps> yeah, I know where. Yeah, so yeah, you really gotta be, watch. Yeah, be careful facts. with that shit, dog. Hell yeah, shit, man. You uh, you actually said something, dog. You said that uh. I know you, that's your cousin who um, started the uh, shoe doctor. Well, that's my brother. That's your brother. Yeah, uh, right. we actually started to we actually started together, but he mm -hmm. he um he was he came up with the name. He was the main face, mm -hmm. and um and me like you said, I'm I'm my brother. Like at the end of the day, like I said, I'm my brother's keeper. Yeah, for sure. Um, we had to start off at some point. Yeah, we yeah, had yeah. to get it popping off, and by just being him, it couldn't happen like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he was still working at the time. Mm -hmm. I, w I wasn't working, but I was still doing music and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So he came with to me the idea like, uh, bro, you think, uh, would you pay somebody to clean your shoes? He asked me. I told him like, nah, because he know us. We grew up. We, yeah, for sure. We did it. Yeah, you doing that shit. Yeah, yeah dipping the motherfucking toothbrush. Yeah. Facts. Hell yeah. But he, and he said, but out of that idea, I was like, yeah, but I know it's a lot of people that would. Yeah. Went on with it, went on with it, went on with it. It, it, it managed to pop off. We've been going at it since uh, 2013. Yeah, yeah. We had multiple locations. We had um, one near Rosa Park. We had one on Seven Mile and Van Dyke. I remember that one. That's the one. I, that's the one I remember for sure. Yeah, we had to, we we closed that for a while. Somebody broke into the shop, and we had to take care of a lot of things that was going on. Yeah, we yeah. bounced right back. Like it wasn't nothing. For sure. Got back open. And right now, we just been grinding. Still, we still on Living Noise right yeah. now. Uh, my bro is actually in Atlanta in Bankhead, uh, mm -hmm. down like probably like four doors from Toast. If yeah. anybody uh, um, aware of that place, yeah, yeah, yeah. down now, dog. Tell me, I know for a fact, nigga, you working that bitch, dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you be seeing a lot of niggas stunting, nigga, like bringing in some fake ass shit, dog. Oh yeah. Like, do you do you think niggas like be purposely getting some fake shoes just to stay in the mix, or niggas just don't be knowing? Oh no, I know they do because like me, <laughs> like. Cause, Cause for one If you see the shoe somewhere Or you know somebody got the shoe Yeah And you go, You know like If you ordered that shoe And that yeah. shoe came back to you <laughs> And you ordered it from somewhere That wasn't Neiman Markins Or it yeah. wasn't Something yeah, like that You know legit. you got off yeah. Of some Alibaba Or something like that Or yeah, you bought yeah. it from the dude At the liquor store <laughs> Or you was on Greenfield And you rolled by yeah, And yeah, you saw yeah. him sitting outside For sure So a lot of people Be trying to get away with that One dude came and dropped off Some shoes He was like yeah I need you to do some of these, man. They they kind of bold. They kind of bad. He dropped off some Dior's. Yeah. Dior's. These Dior's run like sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars resale. Damn. 
they re- you probably can get them for like twelve. Yeah. But dude come in there called V twenty twos. Bring him in there. He's like, man, I don't know what you can do, but I need you to. I need these done. He wanted them same day. Yeah. We charge fifty fifty five for foreign shoes, but okay. then he want we give you extra twenty five for the same day. Mm-hmm. I tell him like me knowing which type of shoe it is when I yeah. seen it. My uh, my other employees that work with me, they were like, bro, you about to take that shoe in? Like, <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm going to take it in because I know how to handle yeah, this shoe. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a customer. I still got to treat him like he's a regular customer. I yeah. can't tell him, oh, bro, these it's, knocks off. Yeah, yeah, Only sure. if I clean the shoe and something happens. Then yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, you bitches ain't real. I'm going to let you yeah, know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah but I, I, I didn't tell you when you came in because <laughs> you're a customer. I, yeah. and that's only right. I yeah. can't tell you your shoe is fake. <laughs> But you knew that before yeah, you dropped them off for in here. Sure. The, back, the box was fake. Everything was fake on yeah, them, bro. Man, <laughs> Duh. yeah, I, gotta, I, I tell you a story off camera about that shit, dog. That shit, bro. no. Uh, by my by my experience, dog, I'm, I'm a goofy ass nigga, dog. Straight. So nigga, on some, on some, matter of <laughs> fact, hey, when you um, when y'all can y'all like like say if the sole of the shoes messed up, y'all can fix that shit. Um, I got some sevens. I really want them bitches right, dog. <laughs> you need the sole icer, the, the Raptor, the, the Raptor Jays, them. Uh, they decaying. At the bottom, it's like nigga, like you can feel rocks. Like it's like in that bitch, like it's it's, it's fuck, it's wearing out like a motherfucker. Ooh, you might have to, you might have to send me a picture or send them All to right, me. Babe, I got you, I got you, yeah. But dog, one day I'm being a goofy ass nigga, bro. Like I came up, I had a couple of dollars and shit, so I'm like, I wanted some uh, these Jordan uh, the twelves with the hologram on the side, mm-hmm. the black and red ones. So nigga, I go on, um, what's that shit in in New York, dog? That that'd be a sp- flight club. That bitch, I'm like, I ain't paying no five, six hundred. I'll fuck that. So I go get these bitches. <laughs> these bitches, all the drawers on that motherfucker was a hundred. <laughs> so, <laughs> so nigga, I ordered them bitches, dog. They came through the mail, nigga. First, the first thing, nigga, that bitch was a blue drawer box that said Air Jordan on that bitch. Dog. Oh yeah, I know you was mad. So but they, you knew you was mad. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I was going to see if I could rock with the bitches. Dog, I got the bitches, nigga, the ton was about that fat, dog. Motherfucker, remember I wore them over here? Oh, nigga, it's wow. like they made them bitches. When I, once I placed my order, they just made, like, all right, go ahead and make them bitches real quick, dog. Like, dog, those was the worst. Nigga, the jump man was all chubby and shit, dog. That's, see, those are the days, I think those days, the Chinese people was doing it yeah. back then. Because they, they didn't got real, they didn't got a lot better, but still, when you pick it up, yeah. you can tell the difference when you automatically pick a shoe up. Because they like, had them bitches, remember they had the Air Ones in the store, nigga, you can get the bitch from facts. the gas station They had the clear, shit. the clear joints, the, the fog The Melissa's ups. for the girls and shit, dog. Facts. That shit funny as hell, dog. Throwback, nigga. Throwback. <laughs> but shit, man, with you, man, before we get to the music, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I know you was on here with stats, so you didn't really get to touch on your growing up, dog. But how was it for you, uh, you know, growing up, man? Who was in the crib? And just talk about that. What, uh, you know, you from the East West. I know you, 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 uh, or you grew up in HP the whole time. Yeah, I, um, I'm from, I'm from, I represent Holland Park. I'm from Michigan as a whole. Yeah. Um, my dad is from the west side, west Chicago. My mom is from the east side, of uh, near um, Seven and Van Dyke. She okay. went to Kettering. My pops went to McKenzie. Okay. Um, after like five years, my mom had. I was like six. My mom almost six. My mom had left me with my pops and moved down to Florida, Jacksonville, okay. Florida. For sure. So, and like a year or two later, I ended up going down there, and I stayed down there. Mm. From then till my till I was fourteen, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I came back up here for high school, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I've been back since. But I was always coming back and forth mm. ever since I was like, I want to say about nine or ten, for sure, for and that's sure. when I when I was coming back, my dad was staying in Highland Park, yeah. so that's how that's how I was living yeah, yeah, in there. So. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I never went to uh, I went to no middle schools in Highland Park. Mm-hmm. Middle schools I went to was in the South. Okay. I went to all uh, high school. My high school I went to was up here in Highland Park. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now, now you know, what I'm saying you uh you 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 with moms you with you with uh with pops and shit like that dog. Usually nigga you 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 pick up your musical uh your musical choices and shit from them. You know what I'm Facts. saying? So who was the people that you was just rocking with? Because of them before you even had your own ear, be like you know what this is the type of rap or type of R and B I like. Who would you just like him based off of what they was playing? When I was uh, um when I was little, I can as far as I can remember, uh I want to say about six. Yeah. At this time, I, I, I was staying at my grandma's house, so I would remember this. Pops uh used to love he loved pop. Yeah. So I heard I used to hear a lot of pop mm-hmm. going through there. I he used to ride me around in his uh Oldsmobile and yeah. his caddy and stuff like that. Hell yeah. And that's all he would really bump. Yeah. So um I grew up with that hearing it. But not being really in tune, like okay, you that's know, rap, that's yeah. that's pop. But as I got older and I moved down to uh, to the south, yeah. my mom's had a boyfriend. He had, uh he was from uh Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
He listened to a lot of uh, Scarface. Hell yeah, he'll turn you on to that South music. Yeah, he, immediately. Yeah. Like he he listened to a lot of Scarface, a lot of No Limit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, at this time, that was before Hot Boys, like you said, wasn't, yeah. wasn't Cash Money. So at that time, I was listening to those dudes. I listened to nothing but No Limit yeah. and, and Face Mob, and them. Yeah. I, that's it. Hell yeah. And um, uh, how can I say this? Um, he had. Like suitcase, he had like a suitcase yeah. with the tapes in them. Yeah. And me, I had my own room. Yeah. I had my own room, but being as a kid, you know, a kid want to finagle and mess with stuff. Yeah, me being in the south, I wasn't really going outside that much. Yeah. Besides to go play sports, football, and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. So when I was locked in in the room, I'd go to the um, case, pop it open, grab a little gray little CD player. You know, I mean the tape yeah, player. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. how those was. Yeah, yeah, the one yeah. that had the two dates when you yeah. can. Put it, open it up, put one in there, press that one, and hit the record and record between. Two. Hell yeah, for sure, bro. I, <laughs> I was in there. That 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 was like that. That made me really fall in love with music Hell when I yeah. got there, and I was able to understand that I had these things at my reach. For sure, for sure. As a like as a kid, you hear it on the radio, or whatever. But once you run across your first tape, Hell yeah, that, nigga, that shit, that's classic, bro. That was a that was a totally that that think that really in tune me because I always been into tune in tune with music, yeah. and that really did it, and that kept, and that, I think that opened it. But, woke but like up. you said, dog, it was like a motherfucking a little journey, nigga. Like when you get a new CD, dog, like or a tape or shit, like just to read that shit, nigga, open that shit up. Break that motherfucker open. You hoping you didn't waste no money of buying this motherfucker, dog? Fact. <laughs> it, it ain't no motherfucker uh pay the pay the uh for uh fucking title when you can listen to whatever, nigga. You gotta actually pay fifteen dollars for that bitch and hope that it's a good CD, dog. Yeah, because the back end, yeah, like you said, because all you can do is look at it. It wasn't no as it wasn't no advertisement like you see now. Like Hell oh, yeah. got a single coming out, boom. Hell and yeah. it's all you heard was on the radio. You didn't know how many songs was gonna be on Hell a yeah, CD sure. or a tape when you got it. Yeah. Dude probably had a hit. And you get his tape. He probably had what, what what they used to call it back then oh. with the five songs on it. Oh, uh, what's that? Uh, Maxi. A Maxi. Maxi single. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, that's it. Oh damn. That's okay. I didn't even know that. I, shit. That's why I said I, I remember all that type <laughs> yeah. of stuff, man. Because 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 you would run across it and be like, this only got because they had it, the words and the names written in white on the tape. Yeah, so you yeah, like, yeah. it's got six songs. On. <laughs> and some of them you'll be like. But yeah, so yeah. that's and see that's what you want the motherfucker CDs to be seventeen songs, eighteen songs. You be like, dog, the more the better, cause nigga, you paid fucking fifteen. You want to hear it? You don't want to mm -hmm. hear no nine. That's why when I remember Blueprint came out, I'm like, damn, it's only like nine, ten songs on this motherfucker, dog. But that that's one of my favorite Hove albums anyway. But yeah, it's like nigga, you it was like a motherfucking like you go in the room. It's like it was a motherfucking procedure. They got to do everything, nigga. Like it just it was way funner, dog, to have like a new CD to listen to then and compare it to now. Fact. Cause now niggas only want to really just take the time to list to it for real. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's why we. That's what we was thinking about. That's why we really got into EPs a lot. And, and that's the thing, dog. Cause niggas' attention span ain't shit. Mm -hmm. So you hit them quick, nigga. They be like, all right, that's when they gonna want more. Facts. <laughs> they be like, dang, I put this in, it's over already. Hell okay, yeah. I'm running back. For Maybe sure. I miss them. I'm running back. Hell yeah. Simple as that. So shit, nigga, who was your uh? You you said like you know what I'm saying your mom boyfriend had the south and shit. And your dad listened to the pop. Who was your who was your first favorite rapper, dog? Like once you. Like nigga, I love I love this shit, but this is my guy right here, Master P. Nigga, nigga sleep on P, dog. Master P. Like Hell yeah. I, me being a kid, I could still to recite and remember the the lyrics of what he was saying. Like I was selling my tapes yeah. out the trunk. For sure, hell like, yeah. Me being six, seven years, and that's hearing that, like, yeah. dude selling his tapes out the trunk. Man, getting in, yeah. Like, I, for like, sure. I, like, not knowing what it is, but that was something that really stuck with me. Like, he, he sold his tape out, out the trunk. Hell yeah. He didn't no deal, no deal. That's all he was saying. I was watching the movies as a, as a kid, too, that I'm about it mm -hmm. and all that. So I was real, I was real up to it. Yeah. The little No Limit Little Soldier, little action figures hell and yeah, stuff nigga. like The one you pull with the P in the yeah. back and he said, uh. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I had all that. That's why I said. Yeah, like I was really I was into that I was into that soldier stuff with the camouflage and I'm yeah, being yeah. in the south so yeah. this is what I'm seeing yeah 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 nigga I remember nigga right here uh, before it burnt down nigga seven days nigga so you a fake tank nigga like I remember my cousin I, I, I said I had it but it was his but it was like both of ours that nigga had the motherfucking tank dog it was fake cause it, was, it was like it was his but it, you know, it was like both of ours nigga it was a fake tank dog and that bitch thought you was real no limit soldier this motherfucker dog no cap nigga silk the shocker nigga them niggas was hard dog yeah. Nigga dropped every motherfucking day, nigga. Like for mm -hmm. real, for real. And, and it messed me up. Uh, Car Stax had told me uh, he had an interview, and he had he said he got a clothing line out here that everybody's wearing, mm -hmm. but he don't want to say that he owned it because he feel that the rappers won't support it like uh, that. Who? Silk? See? 
Oh, see? Oh, shit. I mean, you know, no, so, Silk. So, like yeah, I said, yeah. my bad. I think Silk. I heard him say that shit, too. Yeah, yeah. And back then, he was, like, more... He was more hotter than his brother was. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Once yeah. he got his, once he got his yeah, thing. Because yeah. he was more of a younger age. Silk was 16 yeah, years old. Yeah, yeah. Then, like, he... And he, he looked like he was 20-something. Yeah. Hell, yeah. But he was 16. Yeah. And, like I said, Silk, I think with him being in the group, he was the one who, like, the girls had, like, you know what I'm saying? He was making music for the young people and shit like that, too. So niggas was coming, you know what I'm saying, was uh, getting attracted to him just because he was the fresh face on No Limit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But shit, man, uh, talk about high school, bro. Like, I know music wasn't always the thing for you, dog. You talked about football and your song and shit. Mm -hmm. So that's what you, that was what you thought you was going to go to the league or something? Or that was uh, some um, dreams? Or That was something I had a dream of, like, as a kid, from at least from seven. Once I moved to the South, mm -hmm. everybody was doing it. Like, yeah, I yeah, stayed, first. like, in an apartment complex that mm -hmm. back then you would say was a... What you say, um, the projects, mm -hmm. the, the South projects. So mm -hmm. all we, it was, everybody had kids. It yeah. was, it was a whole. It was we had over four hundred and some units. Yeah, damn. No yeah. old people. Yeah. Uh, all was new people coming in. And everybody had kids. Yeah. I don't know if it if it had Section Eight on it or what not like that. <laughs> yeah, by sure. But I know my mama didn't because yeah. my mom, she worked twelve hours every day. Yeah, for sure. Um. So. Um. Being out there, that was it. I was mostly into the sports, yeah. running around. I started witnessing myself getting, doing bad things. I had bad other people that wasn't supposed to be influenced. For sure, for sure, for me sure. Me like that, so. Yeah, yeah, I already know what's up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so you, you, so you, did you play <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You play, did you play ball in uh, high school? Uh, yes, sir. When I oh. came up here, I played, uh, I played Two and a half years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, played two and a half years. Played wide receiver and safety. Okay. Uh, it it kind of got rocky when my pops dad got out. Yeah, yeah, And he, I guess he stepped in, and at this time he wanted to be a father. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I guess my grades slipped a little bit at this time. Yeah. Uh, cause the school was I liked the school it was all right, but it was boring. It was yeah. real boring. And, to, and, and, and catch your attention. For yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. was real boring. So when pop when pops had he ended that. That kind of opened the door for yeah. a lot of other yeah. things. That kind of sure. opened the door for me. Yeah, jumping off the, the porch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. I already know what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that could do it, dog. Like, with school, bro, like, I, I used to love hooping, bro. Like, and matter of fact, my man's Dion be training your daughter and shit. Yeah, that's yeah, my homeboy. Yeah, I've been, man, I've I known that fool since, like, psh, probably like seven. I mean, seven, seven grade. We used to hoop right that's over crazy. here at the Y, dog. He's playing this league. Dion had these braids, dog. He could always hoop. And just like that, dog. So he, uh, I see him training your, uh, your daughter. Like, yeah, Dion got game. He, he, they used to be ball. I used to hate them niggas, dog. But them <laughs> niggas, they had a little squad. Him, D. Bait, all them niggas go hoop, dog. My nigga, uh, Loke, all them niggas had game. Thomas, nigga, they had a squad, dog. So yeah, most you, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, so the sports, you trying to feed that to your, uh, into your, into your baby girl and stuff? Yes. Um, I got all girls and. And my daughter, she more is into the room when I like to play with stuff, LOL, doll, all YouTube it all day. Mm -hmm. When I got with my girl, her mm -hmm. or her her daughter, mm -hmm. she was into basketball. For sure. So I seen that. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. We bought the rim, brought it out like that, mm -hmm. and it started from there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just and that that started in 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, damn man, you got yeah, you got you you got well, how many girls you got? Three. three. Yeah, you got to make sure you protect them, boy. Yeah. Like. yeah. <laughs> One about to be seven on the twenty fifth. One yeah. about to be one in February, and yeah. the other one be sixteen in May. And you almost kind of like me. Got my son fifteen. Just turned fifteen. I got a son that's five, and my baby girl just turned one. So having that girl now is like, dog. I see like that soft side that I didn't have with my boys that I got mm -hmm. with her. Like you know what I'm saying? If she cry, I'm like, damn. I'm like let me pick her up and shit. This nigga even say I I be posting hella pictures of her and shit. Like mm -hmm. it, it just turned me to a super softy dog. But that's okay. That's cool, dog. And I see you like you really you know what I'm saying you be I see you when you waking up with your daughter and stuff like that that's dope dog like mm -hmm. cause growing up you don't be having that father and she gonna always remember like you know what I'm saying dad was around and he did this and did that and shit Facts. you know what I'm saying so shit with you dog when did the rap come into play cause I think we touched on that shit a little bit when Last Stax time. was on here and was Stax the, the reason why you started rapping and shit or is it just like mm -hmm. yeah was it he seeing was. him or him just like talking to you talking you into doing it um. It actually, uh, it was like him talking me to it. Like, I, I didn't really, I wasn't thinking about it, never thought about being a rap, never tried mm -hmm. rapping. 
Never wrote a rap. Yeah. So we just it was a summer, like two thousand ten. Mm -hmm. I was just chilling in the living room. We were standing on uh seven mile in Van Dyke yeah. on Quinn. Yeah. Cause I'll come down, dun 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 dun. Think you can write a verse? <laughs> I can try. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Ever since then, it's been on go. Yeah. We we even had we went from that to us having our own studio upstairs in our room. Mm -hmm. And well, in in my room, and he, he was in the room next door. I had the closet, so yeah. he was able to go in there. Yeah. So that's how that's how it was dope. When we uh built it up from from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. We had the stand up microphone. Yeah. We had um, the hanger, you know, like the hanger. We bent that to the yeah, point yeah. it just hanging like yeah, this yeah, for yeah, this yeah. right here. Hell yeah. And then um, put a little stocking cap on it. Uh, put the little egg things around there <laughs> for the quietness. We yeah, had yeah. a crate. We didn't even have a chair. We used to sit in the booth. Yeah. And we had bought the interface, bought our own laptop. Laptop crashed twice. Damn. Man, yeah. So we that's how we had to learn from that too. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But that that those be like those be moments that you remember nigga, more than going to your first legit studio. Is that is them is them crib boys dog? Cause you you feel like nigga like all right, this the studio. You know what I'm saying? At that time, it was too. Facts. Yeah. As 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 you a beginner like to die, somebody that'd be a joke. Somebody would laugh and say, but if you go back and look at the old pictures like Kanye had, yeah, yeah, the crib. He was at the crib. Hell and yeah. He was had nothing around him. He didn't even have a, a like I was saying. A, he had, I had we had a stand up microphone. Mm -hmm. Just imagine how that is back then. No, for sure. You feel Facts. what I'm saying? Yeah. How the, the sound like how good you had to be with mixing. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. That shit. Man, I remember going to the studio, think it's a studio, but it's a studio slash trap house slash Facts. motherfucking. My nigga, my nigga making checks in that. in that bitch like, and I'm in this motherfucker with my son. Like my son like three. I'm like sitting on nigga. I'm like, damn, it's just this a trap house. Like, fuck it. I'm recording. <laughs> Everything. So yeah, hell yeah, dog. So with him, nigga, you remember that first rap you wrote, nigga? Like how how bad it was, nigga. I know it. That first one, like, you thought it was probably sweet, but then you look back like, damn. No, I can't even remember it, but I remember <laughs> some raps that I had, uh, right, like you said, like right now, like, I can't believe I wrote that. Like, yeah, hell like, yeah. Ooh, like. You thought, and then, like, I remember this <laughs> shit. You thought it was the hardest thing, nigga, since, like, dog, what the fuck? Yeah, I had, I had a lot of those, though, like, like, like I felt, because we was, um, at this time, we was rapping off for, like, industry beats. Mm -hmm. So we was trying to get off like yeah, that we sure. was we're trying to get off on industry beats we, yeah, we yeah. weren't focusing on oh we get our own beat had it certain way we were just rapping on stuff we yeah. were just rapping that's all we had no concept really to yeah, it yeah, yeah. we were just rapping no but hooks or y'all had hooks or just rapping nope no hooks yeah, we yeah. were just going on straight all in, in industry beats that's <laughs> it mm -hmm. we were jumping from all from old jay-z we jump over to some uh, to a woman some anita baker some uh anything like that we did we did all that yeah what, 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 how was your first time in like a legit studio, dog? It was um, it was great. Um, we we was recording in Greenfield Plaza, the same oh, place. Shit, yeah, yeah, we yeah. still record in Greenfield Plaza yeah, to this day, like. Yeah. But we not recording at the same place. Uh, it was dope. It was uh, mm -hmm. at the time it was three of us, yeah. so it was a a, a trio. We yeah. call ourselves uh. Flame game. All right. So we, um, uh, my man's pool, R.I.P. Floyd. Yeah. yeah. So we was doing that. We used to do a lot of, what was it, showcases. Mm -hmm. We used to be at those twice, at least twice a week. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Doing yeah. them, yeah. Bringing our people, bringing like, yeah, they're going to do this, like this. Like to build our confidence, get mm -hmm. everything up. And this was like 2000, like I said, like 2010. Yeah, like, yeah. At this time, I'm not me. I done, I'm not listening to no other rap that's going around in the city. I don't even know we got people in the city like yeah, rapping. For sure. It's Hell not yeah. even nothing Hell like yeah. that. So like as I as I was going on, that's why like a year or two later I heard Doughboys Cash Out. Like, mm -hmm. of, like yeah, I didn't yeah, yeah, I didn't even know nothing about none of that like stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I was the same way, bro. I didn't know about none of them niggas. Until I moved back, I was I was always staying in Detroit, but for a little bit, for like two years, I was like in Gross Point, Harper Woods. And I went back to the city. I'm like, who the fuck is Doughboy Cash? Who the fuck is Team Eastside? Mm -hmm. I ain't know none of these niggas, dog. Like rock bottom, like, I ain't know these niggas, dog. Then I had to get back hip and kind of like start my, over. That's why I said like the the rappers I knew at that time was hurt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Skrill from the pillow. Yeah, yeah, like stuff like that. And um, 
and a uh, short dog. Oh and yeah, nigga, nigga sleep on short dog. We came yeah, out here, like, dog, yeah. with uh, with uh, dirty glove and shit. Yeah, short. He uh he had a hot he had a hot one. Yeah, well, yeah. Man, he just made a couple bad decisions. Yeah, That's yeah, for it, sure, for sure. He, he Hell yeah, fuck with the wrong people. What, what's some shit that you uh what's some shit that you need in the studio dog outside what you doing right now? Um, <laughs> outside the motherfucking weedies. Um. I just need a good beat, a good beat, and a good vibe. Mm -hmm. You know, feel what I'm saying? Um, it gotta be, it gotta be the vibe. The vibe gotta be right for because sure. if it's not, I'm not gonna have a good studio session. Yeah, for sure. For sure, it's gonna be all fucked up, all jacked up. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Now there are, uh, you got, you just dropped your, like I said, you you uh, y'all dropped some group shit, but this your first uh, solo joint, dog. All gas, no brakes, and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. like, all platforms. Yeah, yeah. What was the uh, what was the response for that? And did you feel like at first, like, like, damn, it's gonna be kind of kind of weird doing this shit on my own? As far as like, you know, what I'm saying putting something out and it's just you and nobody else. Um, when when it came down to the time for me to do it, mm -hmm. um, I was actually excited. Yeah, I was real excited. Um, I felt like it was my turn to go go ahead and show what I had on mm -hmm. my own end, cause. A lot of me and Stax, we do a lot of work together. They didn't really see us do separate projects. So yeah, when, yeah. when Stax dropped his project, that was like woke him up too. Mm -hmm. So I had to come around, turn up, double up, keep him woke. Hell yeah, for sure. So you feel what I'm saying? So the whole hood, the whole hood showing out right now. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Right. So that's why I just said the concept, all gas, no brakes, came from that. Yeah, keep going. Hell it's, yeah. It's constantly, we got another project we working on that's Hell yeah. coming out. We got. 808 Mafia did some of the beats. Yeah, keep them matter of fact, all the beats. Yeah. Oh, shit, that's hard. Yeah, it's a, we're going to do it. We're going we're gonna to do 808 Vibes. That's going to be the project now. Hell yeah, that's hard as hell, dog. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, shit, with this one, you been getting some love like, from it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, a lot of love. Everybody supporting it. Everybody messing with it. Um, The idea that I kind of wanted to go behind it was to show, like, how versatile I was. I wanted to give everything a different type of sound. Yeah, I didn't yeah. want none of the songs to sound yeah, same. the same at all. Mm -hmm. And give my own perspective and in, in, in the introduction of me. Yeah, for sure. You feel for what sure. I'm saying? For sure. Now, you already know, dog. On projects, I do top five, top three. You got seven songs on this motherfucker, dog. So, top three for me is uh, Mine's Uncle's Pain, uh, Gotta Get It, and uh, Take Me Away. What be, what's your top three, bro? My top three, I'm going with um, Gotta Get It. All right. Uh, Take Me Away. Yeah. And I want to say Pain. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I got, like I said, I told you, nigga, at GM, like, I don't be just saying that shit because I be knowing people like, that shit was hard. I was at work list too. Like, damn, this nigga hustled and went, went in on this motherfucker, dog. Like, I know when a nigga shit hard from the city, dog. Or like in my area is when they made me want to start writing. Like listen to this shit. Like damn, I want to write some shit now. That's how I know if a project is dope because I want to write and see if I can write some shit. Even when, though I, I gave up on that shit. Give a, when you give them, when you give them authentic shit mm -hmm. is, is that's that's what you got to do. It, you yeah, got yeah. that's what you feel for, for for when you do something real. That's why I came up with pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. A lot of people can relate. Even the title, it speaks for itself. For sure, hell yeah. It'll make you listen. It'll make you want to. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Now, dog, you know from the from the project, dog, we talk about the bars. I take a piece of a uh, of a bar or something, and then we talk about it. So on one on, on the intro, you say a couple of niggas switched up. It, it's just a lesson that I learned. Only add fuel to these niggas, let it burn. On, on these niggas, damn. Only add to, to the fuel on these niggas, let it burn. Now, when you say a couple of niggas switched up, dog, like, that's some shit that you dealt with as far as, like, people in your circle, bro, because, like, I think me and this nigga be talking about this shit all the time. Like, you can grow up with niggas, dog, and they, those could be your niggas, but I think, like, sometimes with the way life go, shit can switch up on and niggas can start acting a little different. Like, was you was you uh, going through some of that shit, bro? Yeah, I experienced that. Um, I experienced that a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. Say, for instance, it's, it was people I used to deal with back in the days. Mm hmm that I would look back and like, dang, I know I shouldn't have messed with them. I shouldn't have dealt with them. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. So, Hell yeah, because it could be like, once you start getting kids, you like, niggas might think you switched up, but really you just doing that shit for the better of your family mm -hmm. and shit. Like, I can't be around you, bro. Like, I can't do that shit. And niggas might be like, oh, this nigga fake or this nigga on some bullshit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I got some niggas like that. Like, like nigga, no, nigga, we yeah, motherfucking 30 I'm, I'm something gonna, Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 100 and genuine no matter what. If yeah. I don't see you today, if I don't see you the week from now, 
Yeah, it's still gonna be love. It's still gonna be love. And niggas Always. don't be, no, niggas don't understand that, bro. Just because I don't talk to you every day, don't mean that I'm a different nigga. That means that nigga, I got a lot of shit on my plate, bro. That I do, nigga. I coach, I work, I got a family, I do this, nigga. By the time I got free time, nigga, I'm, I don't think I'm resting, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Facts, man. For real. Now you touched on your pops, but on one part on pain, you say uh pops wasn't around in and out of jail. I tried to give him a second chance and he still failed. Like was was it like something that you was like expecting something and maybe he couldn't live up to your expectations? For sure. Yeah. Um, like I said, he was in and out of jail. Uh I can't really give you too many memories like yeah. growing up mm -hmm. that I can say, Oh God, I, Pops was right there. Yeah, yeah, I for was sure. chilling with Pops. Yeah. Even when I came up here, he was like, locked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, then he ain't doing right. Yeah, as, for sure. Like, as of right now. Yeah, like, yeah. So. yeah, but you don't think that's some shit that. Do you think like you going through that shit that make you like. Like nigga, help your parenting skills. Oh yeah, for sure. That's that's what thrives me. I'm a I'm a great father. Yeah. That's, that's something that I know. And that and that dealing with that. Yeah. That did nothing but fuel that. Hell yeah. That just made me. That, that's a pride thing. Yeah. I take yeah. that. Take that very. Hell yeah. Now this one, dog. Shit. Everybody can relate, nigga. You ain't even got to touch on if you don't want to, dog. We <laughs> said, baby mama tripping, trying to control my life. Use my daughter as a pawn when she know when she knows she ain't right. Like, everybody know that. Like, like, so you got you got a kid that's, you know what I'm saying, with another person, right? Mm -hmm. So, is it like, do you be a, do do you feel like you can't be, like, the, the father you want to be sometimes because of that? Um, yeah. Uh, it's like a time. Yeah. It's like a time thing. She want her when she want her. I want her when I want her. Yeah. It can never be equal. Yeah. Like, but that's that's something I gotta learn how to deal with. It's getting better. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. that should be hard. That's everybody a, go through it, like you said. Dog, that shit, nigga, that should be hard, bro. Cause thank God, cause my oldest son's with somebody else. And I'm like, shit, thank God, nigga, she let that that little nigga stay with me, bro. Like, and then people used to give her hell, but she like, dog, he a, he a boy, he need to stay with, with his father. You feel me? So, mm -hmm. like me, and her always had that 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 understanding. Like, once we was over, nigga, like, shit, I don't want you, you don't want me, nigga, but. We, we got this little boy, nigga. So we, we gotta, gotta do. We gotta yeah, do. Yeah, hell yeah, dog. Facts. Hell yeah. Now uh, you say, uh, niggas hate from the bench. They can never be a starter. Like <laughs> that shit can but go facts. any type of way. Facts. Like they like like sometimes you think a nigga hating so tough on a nigga situation. That's probably why them niggas ain't thriving. Yeah, we get that a lot. That's that's the whole thing. That's why I say a lot. We get a lot of hate from people that's in the hood that want to rap but can't yeah. rap or. Don't feel like they want to, oh, I can't support them niggas. Like, no. them niggas from the hood. Like, Hell yeah, nah. I know niggas like, personally. Like, nah, this, this, that. Like, <laughs> like I see a nigga there and be like, oh, what's up? What's the deal? Slap me up. Like, okay, what's, what's up, buddy? Yeah. I know who you is. I look up. They didn't probably upload somebody whole video that they don't even know. <laughs> they made a whole story of it. They didn't even like this. Like I, and it's just funny because I know you probably, you, you ran across it. Like, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> you ran across it. Same way you would come speak to me. And I'm not really a... Uh, a very person that I come speak to everybody unless yeah. I really fuck with you. For sure, for sure. So that's why I say a lot of people, they not in the game. They talking a lot of shit, mad because they can't get in. They hating from the Man, bench. Yeah, and niggas would, dog. Niggas would wish the nigga had a birthday who ain't going to even say shit. Ain't going to see that shit like, hey, birthday little baby. Like, this nigga ain't about to even see that motherfucking yeah, comment, dog. Facts, dog. <laughs> like, went all out the way, like, oh, it's their birthday. Like, bro, what? <laughs> Like, yeah, dog. Man. Like I told niggas, dog, I got niggas, dog, with this podcast, bro. I get more love from people I just met than niggas I've been knowing, bro. Niggas, niggas who know me, never even seen an episode, don't even know what my shit about. But nigga, <laughs> but, that, that's that's crazy, bro. Yeah, but niggas who no, I, but the deepest thing about it, they see it. Yeah, for sure. They, they see, see it. it. You, they see it. But it just feel like. It's not. I don't. I don't understand. Yeah, though. Like I never understood that shit. Like I'm gonna show love to everybody, nigga. When when y'all niggas drop some shit, I, just, I nigga I show love to other fucking podcasts, nigga. Like I don't give a fuck, bro. Like nigga, if y'all oh, yeah. made it for me, it was just y'all turn, nigga. Like real shit. It is what it is. Like it's it's real one hundred because every every artist from the hood that that drop music that I mess with, yeah, I, I literally download their songs. Yeah, for sure. Hell I, yeah. Everything is that's that goes on there. Yeah, I, I, that is that is done. I ain't even gotta. Announcer, but when I do do it, it shows. Yeah, for sure. I'm showing the midst of it being down low, and it's little. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. Well, <laughs> niggas, niggas don't like you said. Niggas That's don't pay. want pay. That's being paid. Hell for. yeah, niggas don't want to uh, show that love just because they feel like nigga, I'm not in that situation yet or in that place yet. They a little bit above me, so I don't want to go ahead and you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That shit weak though, dog. Yeah, it's all about everybody got to move in unit. 
Yeah, for sure. And then the last one is from uh, Gotta Get It. You say, I can see these niggas lost, so let me lead the way. I know some niggas with some talent, they let it go to waste. Like, how many niggas you know, dog? That come from sports, nigga. Nigga, rap, nigga, whatever, nigga, who got it, but just just ain't trying to take that it there. ain't focused on yeah. it. Yeah, sometimes, nigga, that was, that was with myself, nigga. Like, I know certain things I, I was good or, or was straight at, but I just, like, sometimes niggas just don't even, don't even push it. It'd be somebody else who will push you more than you pushing yourself. Facts. I had a, um, I had a cousin that was that was rapping. Like I said, the third person that was rapping with us, he mm -hmm. he didn't really want to focus on to it mm -hmm. that much, and he, he let it he let it weather away from it. He drifted mm -hmm. away from it, mm -hmm. and he had his own. He had his own demons. He was fighting himself. For sure. That's how that went. Yeah, because so. sometimes you'd be like, nigga, what the fuck? You got all this shit, but then sometimes niggas ain't mentally ready for you know what I'm saying for that shit. Like my brother was a nigga dope. Nigga, nigga, could hoop, nigga, kill niggas. Like I used to call that nigga a little uh, uh, D Rose, nigga. Like <laughs> that nigga be nigga going to work, nigga. I'm like damn, nigga be like, your little brother Baron. You like nigga, he should be. He in the gym every day, nigga. I'm out here <laughs> drinking, nigga, trying to go to the club, <laughs> chase hoes. Like if he can't beat me, nigga, that nigga nigga, so, that nigga nigga changed this motherfucking profession, dog. Nigga so seeing count. that nigga go to work like that, bro. But then once our mom passed, that nigga had passion for hooping no more. So nigga, he just like some niggas to say like why he stopped hooping. It's just cause nigga that one trillion you had nigga ain't there. So it's like you lose the passion, nigga. I'm watching the Pistons play yesterday. I'm watching two niggas who he started in front of nigga uh, Brent Forrest for the Spurs, and then nigga he was playing against Derrick Walton. I'm like, damn, that nigga was nigga definitely could have been a nigga hooping, nigga like. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Was there ever a time that you feel like somebody had to kind of like check you as far as like you wasting your talent with rap? Oh yeah, stacks had uh, stacks had to check me before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I, at the time I was going through a little something like yeah. I was saying with situation with my daughter and uh, for sure. Now, uh, talking about you know saying you saving niggas music and playing shit, nigga. Y'all niggas from HP, bro. It's right. a it's a million of y'all niggas, dog. Like like dog. Do did all y'all niggas like knew e knew each other like prior to this or just like the music kind of brought y'all niggas together for real uh we knew every we knew each other yeah. we all knew each other and uh and if we didn't deal with each other we knew of each other mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so got one with you i want y'all listening party nigga i was the only nigga who wasn't from hp in that bitch dog <laughs> like, I'm like and i was the only nigga who wasn't blowing that bitch i was high as fuck when i left that one mm -hmm. dog. Yeah, you know we know we blowing it down in that bitch who That's was the just... one nigga dog from highland park that you feel like um that 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 nigga sleep on a lot. The whole hood. Yeah, that's why I feel in the whole hood. Yeah, all y'all niggas get slept on. Mm -hmm. do, do you think like it's like motherfucking? Because is it more pressure like because y'all ain't from the the city like Detroit and shit like that? Like, like you think niggas don't? Yeah, I I, I see people make dumb allegations and make <laughs> yeah, dumb we already said about that one shit, the memes yeah. and shit. But the thing is, um. It's just more about now. Mm -hmm. we, that's why we started New HP. Yeah. So New HP is the thing we just keep saying now. That's gonna reach. You finish on it. They gonna understand what's that. For sure. But when still when they ask, they gonna see it. Yeah. But it's being seen slowly but surely. But it's being seen. We being watched. Deep, definitely, we definitely being yeah. watched. It, it's, a, it's a lot of y'all motherfuckers too, though. Yeah. Like <laughs> the ones that's really making noise. Yeah. They know. The, they know who really yeah, making Yeah, cause noise. you got you got you, you got stats, you got motherfucker Trice, mm -hmm. Fee, yeah, motherfucker uh, DJ. It's a whole bunch uh -huh. of them niggas, dog. Like that, that's going crazy. Uh, uh, what's my nigga name? Uh, Real the great and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. What he say? The, the ones that haters hate the girls love or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a whole bunch of one love and hate. Yeah, yeah, cause uh, that nigga Trice like nigga, you ain't from HP. I'm like, no, nigga, like. <laughs> Like no, I'm from the Hell east side, nah. nigga. Yeah, only thing I knew about only thing I knew about HP, nigga, was it was fucking a little dangerous over there, motherfucker. That, that's about it. You ride through that motherfucker. That's it, dog. Yeah, definitely. Back then, that was the danger. <laughs> Hell yeah. Was it somebody from that motherfucker that you was like you were, you were surprised they even rap and, and and could rap like damn? I didn't even know you rap, bro. Um, who I'm on the sign. I want to say Rio, cause Rio, like he 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 get off on his he got his songs that he like the uh, like mm -hmm. he would put together that'd be nice. Yeah. So he he put his shit together too. Yeah. DJ he he was uh already spitting also. Mm -hmm. Um, Trice was already spitting. Yeah. Yeah, nigga Rio, that nigga funny as hell. He talking about that shit when he diss kid there and shit. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a bad mistake. <laughs> that, I wouldn't I would have never did that. Yeah. Or you or you would never diss him. Or you would never put your shit I wouldn't have put. I wouldn't have. 
I wouldn't have put the disc on there. Oh. On there. Like, I wouldn't have came. Because cause he, he played on it like that. So, yeah. he played on it. <laughs> like, that's, I wouldn't have did that, though. No, that shit funny as hell. So, shit, like, do, do it be like friendly competition? Like, it's a lot of y'all. Yeah, like, like, all right, that, most definitely. Yeah, like, especially it's I, all friendly when y'all niggas in the studio. What about with you and Stats? Like, when, like, you know, the Hot Boys, they say when they used to do songs, like, like nigga, they was going at each other's neck. Like, do y'all do that shit even though y'all fam? Oh yeah, most definitely. We go in there, we we put everything together. We used to um we used to create music right in the same room, but now it's like mm. we we still in tune with each other. So when we go in, it's an exercise for both of us. For sure. So so like when he go in and put in work, yeah. that's he ready. Yeah, I'm yeah. ready to go in after I you feel what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. all the exercise with that. If I ever put if I ever put out another project though, I'm about to get y'all niggas on that bitch dog. Oh yeah, most I'm definitely. I'm thinking about doing bro. a motherfucking uh, we definitely gonna do uh, it. Motherfucking project, nigga. One project, dog. Then that's gonna be it, dog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get original beats and everything, bro. Like I've been seeing everybody drop shit. Like, dog, I know I could drop a project for real, for real, like a, a real boy. <laughs> I might not promote that bitch for real, but for sure. <laughs> I, could do I, see, that shit. I seen what you was talking about. Like that's why, yeah. Yeah, I could, I could, I could probably do that shit. Now, what's some shit with yourself, bro? That you feel like you needed, that you need to change that might be holding you back. Um. I need to, I need to get in the studio more often. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, cause I still be writing at the times, but I have my certain times I have to write. Yeah. I write. I be at work, yeah, and yeah. I take a break doing them, them blow. Take a break, mm-hmm. write, go back to work. Yeah. Or get off of work, go home. You feel what I'm saying? Take care of whatever I gotta do at the at the crib. Yeah, yeah. In between that, go in the bathroom. <laughs> that's the best. That's the that's most. That's why. I see, yeah, that's why I, see. I can go right in there. Kids, I'm, everybody, I'm away for everybody or my yeah. wife here come through. Yeah. And I blow in there and sit there, headphones on. Yeah, yeah. Right, so. See, the bathroom, that's the only time I can get peace, nigga. With my, <laughs> at my house, nigga, I got fucking three different age group of kids and a, and a wife, nigga. All right, all right, let me go do mm-hmm. this fake shit real quick. I need to get more active out here. I need to uh, start moving around. Yeah, for sure. More, most no, definitely. That's a fact, dog. Yeah, you got to make yourself visible, dog. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, what's some, uh, I know, nigga, growing up, nigga, you watch Making the Band. Mm-hmm. Nigga, nigga Chopper and Dot Line, all them niggas, dog. I want yo making the band outside yo uh, HP niggas. Uh, uh, who will be in your band, bro? You plus four, four motherfuckers. It could be females. It could be rappers, singers, producers. You and four other people. They got to be mainstream? Uh... It could be whatever, just not HP. Okay. Oh yeah, facts. I got you. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. um, we already know you. Francis. HP. It's gonna be shit. It's gonna be all y'all niggas, dog. I, I like I like to fuck with uh, Nisha and Shay. I throw her in there. Okay, bad man. Um, got you a female. Payroll. Okay, yeah. That's me. That's uh, the hardest nigga in Detroit. So I'm saying, um, bro, I'm hoping I so put up in here. So that's what. That's three. So you need two you know, more. Chris Brown and give you a hit. Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, for sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, no Drizzy. All right, definitely. So, see that, that that I think that's it. That's five. Yeah, so you, Drake, Chris, Payroll, <laughs> Nisha, <Michelle. laughs> you got both. You got a little bit. Of everything. You got some singing, some hood shit. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Some motherfucking so female mix. shit. You know what I'm saying? Come from a female aspect, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Now another shit we do towards the end called verses, bro. I give you two things, and you tell me which one come out. As a winner, dog. It could be whatever. Food, movies, whatever. Boys in the hood versus men in society. Mm. Boys in the hood. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. I, I go with men's, dog. I like, I like motherfucking old dog in that bitch, dog. Nigga went crazy. Motherfucking soul food versus seafood. Soul food. All right, all right. Motherfucking Sada Baby versus uh, Vezo. Vezo. All right. East versus West, since you ain't from East or West. Dude. West. Dog, oh, damn. Damn, Down west side all my life. <laughs> like, you know, uh, this is this is preference, dog. Pop or big. Pop, Pop versus big. Pop versus big. Okay, J versus Nas. Nas. All right, nigga. Uh, summertime gear or wintertime gear? Wintertime. Hell yeah, that's when you get all the motherfucking good sweaters in this bitch, dog. All right, basketball, football. Football. Motherfucking uh, Mike Vick or motherfucking uh, Lamar Jackson? I'm going with Vic. Yeah, yeah, nigga, Vic, nigga, sleep on Vic, bro. Like he was the he was the cheat code, nigga, on the game. 
nigga. <laughs> he 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 altered. Hey, he was he a little he game. was a little nigga too though. Six foot. Yeah. Mother, barely probably. Like, imagine if he had that motherfucking the higher light motherfucking I mean, Kyle Kaepernick motherfucker. Yeah, good yeah, fucking like cannon. And niggas what another thing <laughs> niggas be make me mad about, that nigga never had like a top notch receiver, bro. Like mm -hmm. that you it's like like your go to nigga like how everybody else and he had a straight tight end and motherfucker work done in the backfield you know what I'm saying yeah because that was Tony O Gonzalez and yeah yeah you know, like you said yeah but at that around that time it wasn't even yeah like you said I don't even think the league wasn't even loaded with wideouts at that time like it wasn't a big thing like oh you need two three wideouts yeah hell yeah all right new new this era of rap or the nineties era nineties nineties era. All right, nigga, let me, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Studio versus performance. Studio. Studio. You you, you see that type of nigga, you probably don't like to perform, do you? No, I perform. Oh. reason why I say that, because that's what create. That's what oh, you yeah. got to create. That's creativity. Okay. Doughboy versus Team Issa. Doughboys. All right, bad, bad, bad. All right, nigga. Now, last thing before we get to the end, dog. Give me your top three, man. Give me your top three foods. Your top three hot snacks. Hmm. <laughs> Shit you gotta have, nigga. Once you win that bitch with the munchies, dog. I probably I say I'm definitely gonna need some 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 <laughs> some, some sour punches, some sour patches, uh, a Reese cup. Yeah. Some like some uh, some grapes, some yeah, some fruit. Grape. yeah that's the first sure. one I heard. <laughs> I'm gonna need some grapes. Hold on, I'm purple gotta, boys or the, the red sure. grapes or the fucking green ones? Nah, the green ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell no. All right, give me your top three since you work do the shoe stuff, dog. Give me your top three shoes, dog. Yep. Um, Jordan threes, Jordan fours, Jordan four classes, and I gotta go with elevens. Elevens, hell yeah, the, hell yeah. The other. The yeah. other, the older 11s. I don't know about all these new ones. Yeah, yeah, you be doing that shit. Give me your top three TV shows. Mm. Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> that was a classic, dog. You know, I used to watch that shit every time the cable got cut off. <laughs> that, shit was, that shit was on channel, what, 50 or some shit, dog? Yeah, 20, yeah. That was um, my go-to. <laughs> Dexter. Yeah, that's the laboratory. No, uh, oh, that's oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That shit came back on too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's your third boy? Mm. I ain't hear that Malcolm Miller. That's the new, you first one to say that one. That was a funny ass show though. It was. I gotta go over there, damn near to Nickelodeon somewhere <laughs> like that. Uh, hey Arnold. Oh yeah, I gotta the, take it back. Nigga, my hey wife Arnold. watch that shit every night, nigga, before she go to bed, damn near, dog. All right, give me your uh, give me your top, give me your top three jersey, dog. Like, like the team and the color scheme and shit. Uh, period. Yeah, like football, basketball, whatever. <clears throat> um, that uh, that Bucks, that Bucks uh, red. Okay, okay, that yeah. That Tampa Bucks yeah, red. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's for football. For basketball, I'm gonna go with. I like the Blazers. I like how oh, yeah, they, I how they a, be switching yeah, hands. I always fuck with the Blazers bit. jerseys. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And uh, not the basketball team I'm probably going to go with is uh, the Wizards, too. Oh, okay. the, 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 new, the new one? Oh. Yeah, the, the, the new one. Okay. Now, give me your uh, give me your top three uh, your top three foods. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah, you got to get a good boy. Hell yeah. Tacos. I think everybody on this business had tacos, nigga. Turkey chops. Turkey chops. Man, I ain't no turkey chops and I stay in Texas, dog. That bitch would be good as hell, dog. Uh, God damn, man. All right, give me this is the last one, yo. Top three childhood crushes. Like celebrity, not not Keisha, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Cause they be like, oh yeah, Melinda, uh, this bitch. <laughs> Sixth grade motherfucking Keisha. Kyla Pratt. Hell yeah. I just got finished liking something she had uh, posted uh, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. Uh, what else I'm gonna go with? I can't even. I can't even think of no other ones. See, Kai Pratt is dead. From yeah, from back then, from childhood. Yeah, man, cause I watching that uh one on one shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 for real. I definitely was watching that shit. They got from her heavy, nigga. Yeah, that's just that's probably about so it. So Kyrie, yo, one, two, and motherfucking three, dog. 
Now, nah, dog, you already Back know. Back then, if you got, it's if you got one, bro. If you don't, it's all it's all good. A, a, a drunk moment or a hot moment, dog. When you was on your ass, bro, like a story. Oh, one time I was. It was one of my birthdays. Yeah. I was leaving out the strip club. Yeah. Driving. I got stacks with me. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I got the strap in the car. Yeah. I got the strap under the car, uh, the baby car seat. Up <laughs> under the baby car seat. Yeah. Led to this back. This this probably like five, six years. It's about yeah. five years ago. Yeah. So I'm driving. And hey, we get pulled over. Yeah. They search the whole car. Pull it like this. They tell me, oh yeah, you you got a warrant, but we'll make sure you go take care of it. I'm like, all right, who cool, bet? For sure. Let me go. Yeah. I was so drunk, but they made it made us get out the car and walk back to the strip club and tell my uncle, cause my uncle oh, was uh, managing the, the, the car. Yeah. yeah, man. At this time, my uncle was managing the strip club, so yeah. I was just like, duh, I can't yeah. believe they. So did you, yeah, lucky you didn't take your ass to fucking jail, nigga. Like, facts, cause they ain't find the strap. That's oh shit, <laughs> they ain't find it. That's no, what, I, Oh yeah, yeah, you lucky. Yeah, that's what I said. One. They yeah. ain't fun. Yeah, it was on, cause my, cause she had like one of the ones that you strapped down to the okay. seat. Okay, okay, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that yeah. bitch was. I put that bitch up under there. <laughs> and then you gotta pull, you gotta unbuckle it and yeah, lift yeah. it up. And anybody do all that though? Yeah, they like okay, this a this a family car. Like, yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah. your ass that bitch did. Yeah. I'm leaving. Oh, so I said I'm leaving the strip club right now. I'm literally crossing over Michigan. <laughs> but I was so drunk, the light blinking. Oh, I just gonna say shit happened, mom. The light blink. It's the one. That, it's after two o'clock. <laughs> that bitch blinking. That bitch don't got no red, green, or yellow. So that bitch just blinking. So I'm like. Fuck it. As soon as I get ready to go, <laughs> the police coming right here. Duh. I said, they I'm, they about to hit me. I said, damn. Duh. That's the same shit happened to my nigga Weed, bro. We was going downtown to, uh, I think it was, uh, they changed that bitch to Pandemonium, dog, right there by St. Andrews. That bitch blinking. That nigga going like, Weed, nigga, you got to stop, nigga. That's a stop sign. Like, no, that bitch blinking, you can go. As soon as he got past that bitch, here come the police, nigga. Them niggas came to the car like, cuz, we got to take your car. He's like, dog, I can't let you take my car. He's like, dude, we got to take it. Like, nigga, you can't. And he was like, well, shit, if you want, don't want to take your car, then we're going to take you to jail. Like, right, take the car, officer. <laughs> like, nigga, let that bitch, nigga, you can have that motherfucker, dog. Fuck. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. That shit, man. Shit funny as hell, dog. But shit, man, you already know, dog. Had to get you on this bitch, bro. Motherfucking, uh, you got the uh, all gas, no brakes and shit out. Y'all about to come Most out back with some no shit, dog. Where well, they can't find, uh, find you on social media, all that good shit. They can find me on uh, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Splash bro underscore hustle. Mm -hmm. Well, but that's it. That's all you use, you use is IG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell you one of them niggas, dog. Like you ain't about to be all those. You probably don't even want those fucking Instagram for real, dog. Yeah, that's I. I be on the other ones, but I just go through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I post on there, but that's where a lot of my haters at. So yeah, yeah. I still have to let it and put it in their fucking face. No, you see. I'm serious. Now you say <laughs> you, say you can find your shit on all the streaming platforms. Oh yeah, all streaming platforms. Yeah, yeah everything. For sure. iTunes, Spotify. Spotify, yeah, uh, Google Play, oh, um, shit. Amazon. Oh shit! Real quick, dog. Free what, on YouTube, not too. Have you thought about moving uh, to Atlanta since y'all got the shop down there? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, but gotta make sure everything straight here. Oh yeah, for sure. Dip out. For sure, I got you, dog. Well, shit, like I said, man, I appreciate you coming, this motherfucker, dog. I appreciate you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go ahead and stream that shit. That shit hard. Go ahead, download it. Don't be a hater all your motherfucking life, man. Yes, yes, yes. All gas, no breaks. Yeah, yeah. Anything you want to leave people with, dog? Oh, yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga left merch, dog. Y'all motherfuckers, stop being some <laughs> nigga. Y'all got some shit, bring it, dog. The hood, y'all going to see it. Don't be stingy as hell, man. Y'all see the hood out here, man. Hell yeah, for sure. Nigga, 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 nigga 48, what? 48203, dog. You yes, know what I'm saying? And you know I show love. God be wearing these motherfuckers, dog. <laughs> facts, facts. I didn't seen it in a, bit, in a couple of interviews. Bro. Hell yeah. Anything you want to leave them niggas off with, dog? Like some motherfucking motivation or some shit, dog? Yeah, all love and support, man. Oh, yeah, love for sure. Everybody. Yeah, sure and simple. Hey, man, it's the new year, man. I'm on y'all niggas' heads, dog. Voice of Detroit, man. Shout out to everybody.